we're making this collaged ornament that's on a mini canvas. This is two and a half by three and a half inches tall. There's an eye screw in the top and it's tied with some seam binding. So for this project you're going to need some sort of image or cocktail napkin, a sponge brush, your canvas, an eye screw, and some sort of collage medium. I'm using collage podge with a glossy finish. First thing you want to do is decide which image you're going to do. If you're using a paper image like this, you want to cut around or fussy cut around the image and attach it to the canvas. I'm going to show you using a napkin. One thing you want to keep in mind when you're using cocktail napkins is that they usually always have multiple layers. What I'm going to do is decide which part of this image I want to use. Cut it out a little bit larger than I'm going to need. And then work on separating away the layers. I'm going to make sure that you truly only have this top layer. What happens if you end up with multiple layers is that it will end up wrinkling on the surface. So I'm going to apply a liberal amount of this gloss medium to the surface of the canvas because I'm not going to trim this bird out. I'm just going to put the entire background on the canvas. I can get it nice and thick, liberal coating. You don't want it to dry. And then place your image on and very gently apply more over top. You don't want to drag on it too much because it will make the napkin just disintegrate. So we're essentially just tap, tap, tapping this into place and the medium that's still on here is going to go onto the top. It's going to saturate the napkin. I'm going to apply the glue liberally to the back side of the paper. The moisture of the glue starts to curl the paper and that's exactly what you want. Set that aside. Apply also to the surface of the canvas. and then wet sides together. You're going to put the back of the image that's got the glue on it right down on top of the canvas and then apply another coat over top. If any bubbles occur you can just use your finger and smooth them down. You want to have a nice thick coat over top so you can always add a little bit more. to the top is simple. This is still wet so it's a little bit touchy. But what I'm going to do is find the center here and with my awl pierce a little hole. Get a little hole started. Pick up my eye screw. And get it started. Once it catches, you can put something like your oil into the eye and twist it down. I'm 
and it's ready to put the ribbon of your choosing at the top and hang as an ornament. You can also add paint to the outside edges. I like mine very simple like this, but you can see on the napkin one how I added paint to the sides and to the back. This napkin one also has resin over, over the top. I don't know if you can see there or not, but it's very glossy on the surface. I poured a, a layer of resin over it and it's actually quite hard. So that is the collaged canvas. When the glue is completely dry, you can take the excess off by either just tearing right at the edge, but sometimes that leaves a little bit of a feathery edge here. So if you don't want that, you can um, flip it over and cut it with an X-Acto. And I'm going to paint out the edges. I'm using a uh, green tea Americana paint. I'm going to put a little bit of this on my palette and apply it with a flat brush. One more coat over top of the gloss finish just to give it a nice thick coat. It's a nice finishing touch. You can also alternatively pour resin over top. It just takes longer for that to cure.